Hi, my name is John Roberts. Um, you're here at my track, the Dread Pirate Roberts Raceway. Uh, it's a 37 foot uh, wood routed track, braided. Um, I'm not the original owner. I bought the track, if you will, I'll say unfinished. One of my slot friends and I got together, kicked around what to do for landscaping. Um, came up with the basic idea you see here and, and it has grown since we first started. Uh, the basic track itself uh, is two pieces. It was made to be uh, taken apart and moved. The original location for it was upstairs in a house, and so they had to take it apart. I, I don't have that issue here in the garage. It is uh, 15 feet by uh, 6 feet. It doesn't, as I say, it doesn't need to come apart, and actually when we put the lake and the river in, <laughs> the resin we used has now joined that side of the track together permanently. Um, so we have a full um, resin lake at the top. Uh, we have Miller Engineering signs, as you, you'll see in the pictures. Uh, the Sunoco blinks through and spells out. We have the uh, rotating Sunoco sign that's always lit and up at the far end, we have the champion spark plug sign. Uh, it took us about oh, a month and a half, two months to do all of it, but that was strictly working like Saturdays and whatnot. And uh, the pits itself are, are I, I just put a, cut a board and fit it in for the pits. Uh, I re I, a lot of stuff found on eBay, the, the cement guardrails were on eBay. The buildings are Carrera buildings. I took the base off, detail painted them and put them in place. Uh, I initially wasn't gonna put people, but as you can see, I've added a few people. Uh, we've got the, the winner's rostrum and the, and the obligatory uh, bagpipes to, to play uh, <laughs> the national anthem and, and pipe in the winner. Um, also on the, the far side of the pits, we have the, uh, the three uh, porta potties and some uh, 3D printed picnic tables and 3D printed trash cans. Uh, it's been a lot of fun when you get into this. You know, you think you just want to put some image in it to, to fill in space, but then you start finding things and adding things to it and little, little nuances. There are actually orange and lemon trees around the Sunoco sign. Uh, as I said, it took us a couple months to finish up. Uh, I'm it's still a work in progress. I mean, I'm happy with it overall. Uh, it runs obviously very well. The, the braid made a huge difference, taking out the copper tape, putting the braid in. Uh, we have a club here in SAC. It's the Gold Country Slot Car Association. We race here about once every couple of months. We rotate through four tracks currently. Uh, mine is essentially the smallest track in the, in the circuit, and thereby, of course, it is could say it's the fastest in turn because the laps are so short. It's, it's been a lot of fun to do. It's been a lot of fun to host people here to, to race and show it off. Um, everybody from the casual acquaintance, my wife's friends come over and ooh and ah over the landscaping and then obviously my race friends like to come down here and, and uh, tear it up and see how fast they can go. I think currently our record uh, is Mike and possibly Jim Rose at, at a three point, I'll, I'll say 3.5 seconds, or maybe a little less than that. Um, a good average time would be, you know, low four seconds uh, for a basic scale electric, if you will, Trans Am car. Is there a website or uh, somewhere that people can go to investigate racing in Northern California, or this is the Sacramento area specifically? Right. We're, we're working on that. We've, we've finally come up with a generic set of rules for our group. Um, currently, the track owners all have their own website or their own Facebook pages, but we're looking at putting together a Facebook page for the uh, Gold Country Slot Car Racing Association. That's what it's called. I got I'm getting in trouble for not knowing the name. Um, so we'll put all the information there and rules, tra races, race results if you will, reports, that sort of thing will all be encompassed there. Right now it's who's going to put it together and who's going to manage it, who's going to add, be the admins for it. So hopefully we'll have something decided this week and we'll talk about it some more. But yeah, we're moving that way. Sounds good. Thank you very much for your time. And tell us again the name of your racetrack. Dread Pirate Roberts Raceway. <laughs> I'm John Roberts. This is a, a, is a homage to the, the, the uh, Princess Bride movie. The Dread Pirate and the Dread Pirate Roberts being the, the, the character in that movie. Well, I'll leave that with as you wish. As, it, yeah, as you wish. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you.